quick message to all our viewers before we get started on today's video. It has come to our attention that over 90% of our regular viewers are not subscribed to the channel. We request you to please click the subscribe button and also the bell icon so that you can be notified when the next video from Mythlok is out. The bigger the channel gets, the better the quality of videos that we do for you also gets. So please help us make some amazing videos by supporting the channel and clicking that subscribe button. Thank you. Now over to the video. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Mythlok with your host Nitin Nair. We have explored South American mythology in our last podcast and today we take you all the way around the world to Asia and Southeast Asia to be precise. Now, one of the regions that has completely enamored me is the Philippines. I've had the pleasure of interacting with many Filipinos uh, during uh, my lifetime and I truly believe that the kind of cultural importance that they hold in the region is second to none. Now, one of the things that really keeps Philippine mythology and the whole cultural elements of the area unique is the fact that it's made up of so many different islands and each island has their own indigenous religion, mythology, their own versions of the common mythology and they have their own folklore and stories etc. So this makes up for a very complex but a very interesting kind of mythology that is unique to that area wherein the in any other mythology you take from Asia, they all fall under one common umbrella. But in case of the Philippines, what becomes difficult is to find that common umbrella under which we can combine everything. But we at Mythlok, we've decided to give it a common identity and try and bring in as many different characters from the various mythologies into one common umbrella. The first character that we will explore from Philippine mythology is a mortal or a human being who is supposed to be a master craftsman and a warrior. This is the story of Tuang. Now, Tuang is the epic hero of the Manobo people located on the central part of Mindanao, about 80 kilometers by road and trail northwest of Davao city. He is believed to be a one-man campaign against evil to protect his people. Now, at the onset, it is very clear that his loyalties lie with his people or his village or in the case of the grander context, it's about his island or his people. He does farming for his people and he's treated as a leader or, or a Bagani, a warrior who has taken many human lives. He's also a craftsman as seen in the first epic song where it's mentioned that he is experienced in making leglets, engraving finger rings and molding chains. In other words, he's a blacksmith who played a very important role in their society. Tuang is often depicted as wearing his heart-shaped costume made by the goddess and armed with a long blade, a dagger, a spear and shield. He's also shown as riding a bolt of lightning or his bird, the Gunguta. Now in terms of his family, he is known to have married the maiden of Monawan in the story Tuang attends a wedding. Although not much is known about his wife or the other members of his family, it is believed that he did have a family life but his whole persona was dedicated to saving his people and ensuring that no harm comes to them. In terms of his powers and abilities, according to legends he has supernatural abilities that are bestowed upon him because of the clothes he wears. His clothes are made from heavenly materials that was stitched personally by the goddesses themselves. He can teleport using lightning or use his anthropomorphic bird. He also has a use of the magic beetle nut, the magic skin of gold and the special clothes beaded by the goddess. He is also known to have command over wind and lightning, although he is not similar to the proverbial god of lightning, thunder and wind, which is common in other mythologies because Tuang at the end of the day is a mortal who actually lived on earth among other human beings. In modern day, Tuang has his presence felt as several novels and literary work have stemmed from the legend of Tuang. This include uh, Malakas at Maganda, uh, Bongkatlong, the woman warrior, Epic of Tuang saving the maiden of the Blue Hong Sky, Tuang saving the maiden of Monawan from the Deathless Man, the Epic of Lam Ang, Tale of Bana, and the Story of the Golden Rice from the Sky World. So it can be seen that Tuang is a character that has been really been imbibed 
by the locals and they use him even today to impart lessons qualities of valor to their children and to the people whoever they wish to get these stories across to another interesting factor is that there are stories that are modern creations that have been attributed to tuan so the line of him being a mythical character and a fictional character of modern literature becomes really blurred but the people of the mindao region believe that tuan was a real character who lived a long time ago and who actually helped them be what they are today we will be covering a lot more of philippine mythology and its neighboring southeast asian mythologies in the days to come So don't forget to click subscribe to our podcast on whichever platform that you listen to. Give us a like, a review if you can and tell everyone to listen to Mythlog. This is your host Nitin Naya signing off, reminding you once again that Mythlog is the home of mythology.